familiar, fun, and fuzzy teachers who have been in our homes for decades are back with serious lessons for this generation. Sesame Street has a new mission this season to help American children catch up with the rest of the world in math and science. ABC's Sharon Alfonsi reports the show might just have the power to do it. Load me onto that catapult. This might look like Sesame Street silliness. How far did I go? But this season, the program is actually taking aim at subjects that are troubling America's students. Two, two feet. Math, science, technology, and engineering. Are two-year-olds ready for engineering? They are ready for engineering. It's uh, really when you boil it down, it's just a uh, curriculum of asking questions, observing, uh, making a hypothesis, testing it out. The show's producers responding to an urgent need. Among 65 industrialized nations, 15-year-olds in the U.S. placed 23rd in science and 30th in math, behind countries like Finland, the Slovak Republic, and Estonia. But can the Muppets really pave the way to MIT? Well, for 30 years, researchers have studied something called the Sesame Effect. They found exposure to the program as a preschooler equals higher achievement in high school. Frequent viewers earned better grades in English, math, and science, and had a higher grade point average than non-viewers. When they begin school, they're ready for school. They, they know their numbers, they know a lot of preliteracy skills, you know, they walk in the door and they're ready to learn. Sesame Street has helped kids tackle complex issues before, everything from divorce to diversity. I love my Parents now hoping that when it comes to success in science and math, let's engineer. engineer. Elmo might also have the power to change the equation. Yeah, baby. So does this mean you can just plop your child down in front of Sesame Street for hours guilt-free? Well, not exactly. Keep in mind the show's curriculum, and it really is a curriculum that's designed for two-year-olds, and all the research Diane says, mm -hmm. you should sit with your child and talk to them about it. It's the talking, the interaction, and the watching. Okay, thank you, Sharon.